हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कोमल कवर शेखावत एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू ऑप्टेन क्यूमुलेटिव सम एंड क्यूमुलेटिव सम स्क्वायर्स दैट इज कॉसम एंड कॉसम क्यूब ग्राफ्स फॉर एनी आरजी मॉडल ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन्ड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन dynamic multiplier graph for an nargl model and how to estimate and interpret the results for non linear auto regressive distributed like model the link for both these videos are attached in the description box so you can go through those videos also okay so to obtain the cosm graph and cosm cube graphs first you need to import and estimate your results for nargl model so these were the results for the non linear auto regressive distributed lag model okay so once you have estimated nargl model you need to go to addends okay and then click on nargl cosm and cosm cube graphs so you can see once you click on that option you will get cosm graph and cosm cube graph so first have a look at cosm graph cosm graph assesses the stability of coefficients in the regression model okay you can see one is a blue line and the other one is a dotted red line so the red line shows the 5% significance level or the critical region and the blue line shows the cumulative sum okay so the null hypothesis in case of cosm graph is that the coefficients are stable okay and the alternative hypothesis states that coefficients are not stable and if this blue line that is the cumulative sum line of the coefficients lies between the critical region of these red lines this indicates that we do not reject the null hypothesis and this means that the coefficients are stable okay now coming to the cosm cube graph cosm cube graph helps to detect the structural break in the model okay so you can see these red lines are the critical region line at 5% level of significance and the blue line shows the cumulative sum squares of the coefficients okay so you can see the blue line crosses the critical region at approximately Uh, 29th iteration okay so this is this shows the structural break in the model okay and it rejects the null hypothesis of constant volatility in my data set so this is how you can interpret the results for cosm cube graph and cosm graph okay once you have estimated the nargl model so this is how you can have an idea about the stability of the coefficients and whether there is any structural break in the model or not okay so i hope you found this video helpful if so please click on the subscribe button and thanks for watching have a good day